Four ITV companies have lost their licenses in the franchise auction held by the Independent Television Commission. Thames, TVAM, TVS and TSW will be replaced by rival operators when the new Channel 3 network begins broadcasting in 1993. The licensed applicants, 40 in all, had to pass a quality threshold after submitting their cash bids. Both TVS and TSW were the highest bidders in their areas and they are among several losing groups considering legal action against the ITC's decision. These are the main changes. In London, Thames TV was outbid for the weekday franchise by Carlton. TVAM lost the breakfast TV franchise to the Sunrise Consortium. TVS in the southeast uh, of England will be replaced by Meridian and TSW in the southwest will give way to West Country Television. Our Home Affairs correspondent Robert Parker looks at today's winners and losers and what the auction will mean for British television. Today's announcement by the Independent Television Commission in Knightsbridge brings to an end one of the longest running cliffhangers in the history of television. A situation created by the Broadcasting Act of 1990 which suggested that the 16 ITV franchises would no longer be awarded to those companies deemed to be the best but to those who bid the highest price, Good providing morning, certain quality thresholds had been and, met. Uh, to the In the event when the decisions arrived by fax at television offices around the country at 10 o'clock this morning, it became clear that for the most part, quality considerations had shone through and that the highest bid was not the only factor. Indeed, eight out of the 16 winners got their franchises with lower bids than their oh, rivals. There were 16 franchises up for grabs, including the breakfast license. The ITC has made four major changes to the existing structure. Thames Television, which for the last 23 years has run the London weekday service, is to be replaced by Carlton Television, which will commission outsiders to make all its programmes except news and will employ a thousand fewer staff than Thames. TVS, which has operated ITV in the southeast, has lost its franchise to Meridian, even though Meridian put in a bid substantially lower. In the West Country, TSW lost its license to the West Country TV Consortium, again, even though TSW bid twice as much. TVAM, which makes ITV's breakfast show, is to be replaced by Sunrise TV which of the three competitors put in the highest bid at £34,610,000. Granada Television held on to its franchise, even though North West Television, which makes Brookside, bid four times as much and was thought to have a strong chance. Perhaps the biggest upset involved the displacement of Thames Television. The company which built its reputation with programmes like Minder is the single richest ITV area. It employed 1,300 people, a thousand of whom have today been told they'll lose their jobs. It now plans to become an independent programme maker. I'm devastated on behalf of uh, those production staff. They have worked very hard indeed for the London region and indeed for the whole network. They've carried a very heavy load on behalf of ITV, which is the number one most popular channel in this country principally because of Thames programmes, which are, which are almost half the autumn schedule's successes. Thames will be replaced by Carlton Television. Carlton has already been involved in television facilities and production at a high level. Go on, Lewis! The makers of the highly successful Inspector Morse, Carlton thinks that it can devote more money to programme making by getting rid of expensive studio complexes. We are confident that we can do that. We think that our, our operating costs will be lower. We are confident that we will have uh, adequate funding available for programming and run a profitable business. The only franchise that appears to have been won solely as a result of the price is the one held by TVAM. Of the three bids, Sunrise's £34,600,000 beat Daybreak's bid by a million and a quarter pounds. TVAM itself only offered 14 and a quarter million pounds, all that it thinks Breakfast Television can support. I do not believe that Sunrise will be a profitable company. I predict that Sunrise will be bankrupt in 1994. It's an extraordinary decision. The experience of TVS, losing despite its much higher bid, 
is just one of several financial curiosities thrown up by the new bidding system. And the poker-like gamble that was involved in the process is illustrated by the huge variations in bids submitted for rather similar areas. Of the five most profitable existing TV franchise areas, London Weekday went for £43 million, while the second richest franchise in the Midlands was kept by Central for a token £2,000 a year, though they will have to pay a proportion of their annual advertising revenue as well. The London Weekend franchise was held by LWT for just £7.5 million, while the South Eastern region went for £34 million. Granada in the North West hung on to their franchise for £9 million, a bargain compared to what some of the other franchise areas cost. And in his statement this morning, ITC Chairman George Russell referred to how big a gamble Central Television had taken by bidding only £2,000. Given the fact that he, he was able and had the nerve to take that risk, he should probably also be given the million pound and fired the next day as well. <laughs> it's very risky. Originally, the then Prime Minister, Mrs Thatcher, had intended in the government's broadcasting white paper that the ITV franchises should be decided solely on the basis of the largest bid. But today's decision underlies just how much George Russell and the ITC have quietly managed to get the idea of quality built back into the decision-making process, something that Russell himself today acknowledged. What has happened, we've taken a stand, a very strong stand for the last three years. I, I'd like to think that at the end of the day, we'll be able to say that what has come, and it's a belief that I think quality has won on this occasion and viewers will win. But some of the people who lost, like Phil Redmond of Northwest Television and Richard Branson, who had bids in for three franchises, are now considering legal action because they feel that by making the highest bid, they should have won. Similar actions are being contemplated by TVS and TSW. Um, our financial bid was slightly better than Carlton's, and therefore we feel that uh, the um, ITC should have actually given us the license and not Carlton. We made the highest bid by far of all three applicants, so we were confident of our business plan. Uh, I shall certainly be talking to my colleagues at the board to consider our next action, which may well involve um, legal resource. But the future that ITV companies like LWT were celebrating tonight with champagne is an uncertain one. For from 1993, the national network of programmes will be decided on by a new figure in television called the Central Scheduler. The ITV companies like LWT will have no guaranteed access to the national network as they've had in the past. And in Europe, other television groupings are looking hungrily at Britain, now that what they regard as the crazy franchise system is out of the way. Robert Parker reporting.